All right, guys, Vetsy Tech here, and I'm bringing you another video on the A plus series. This one specifically on the 1102 exam. Now, I will preface this by out, out, outright saying that a lot of people think this one is a lot harder than the other one. Um, I've seen people on Reddit and from my personal experience saying it's maybe about 25% harder. And just that's just because a lot of the things on the core one, you can kind of get experience through just being a around computers like hardware stuff um some of the networking concepts you can kind of just get that through working and interacting with computers throughout your daily life um now the 1102 exam we start focusing on operating systems security software troubleshooting and operating procedures now these things aren't really you're never going to really run into them until you're actually studying them and so a lot of the operating uh, systems like Windows, Mac, um, Linux. Uh, it was it was the first time that I've actually fully in depth started using them. I'm not a Mac person. I'm not a Linux person. So that was my initial introduction um, to this. Again, is a, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, the channel is called Vet to Tech. I'm a veteran. I did radio, satcom stuff in the Army, active duty. Now I'm in the Army Reserves, and I'm transitioning into IT. I actually did find an IT position, which I will be making a video later on as to how this certification helped me. Now, I want to say the core concepts of my first video will kind of be applied to the second video on the 1102 exam. I did watch a video course and then I finished it off by using practice tests. And so that theory of just using those two core um, systems to pass the test honestly helped me out and I got around the same score again, which I'll tell, let you guys know in a minute here. I am interrupting the video because there is a resource out there called Course Careers. It is a IT course created by Josh Matacor. And if you've searched for certifications, if you searched for jobs in IT, if you searched anything IT related, you've probably come across one of his videos. He's really well renowned. He has hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube and, and he has decades of experience in IT. And the reason why I'm recommending his course is because it kind of almost lands perfectly with the skills that you'll get from the A plus exam. And so if you pass the Illumino 2 and you have that fully fledged A plus knowledge, you can kind of get over the hump of knowing what to uh, talk about in, inter in interviews, having that hands-on experience with things like Active Directory and ticketing systems. And so I want to make sure that you guys are prepared and this course can help you do that. If you sign up with my link below, you'll get $50 off and then you'll be able to uh, go ahead and take the course. If you create an account, there's a free introduction. So you don't even have to um, buy the course initially if you want to just try it out, complete the introduction, and then see if you want to spend the money or not. I think it's personally worth it. And I recommend you guys do it as well. We'll start off, instead of using the Professor Messer video course for studying for the 1102 exam, I used the Mike Myers video course, which is on Udemy. And so the difference between the two is Professor Messer's course um, gets into the nitty gritty details and everything, but it does seem to get a bit dry sometimes. And so I, I got a few comments on my last video that they found it really difficult to sit and watch Professor Messer's video course for long periods of time. And honestly, I would say most people would think that way. And so they kind of, um, you do sprints, they'll watch like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there to get through it. Um, the alternative that I did was I was watching Mike Myers Udemy course on the 1102 exam. And that was a little more entertaining. He had like replicas, he did skits, he had like physical hands-on with the equipment. And so it was a lot more engaging and easier to um, stay engaged with the content. And, and because it's a lot of in-person, you won't be able to like watch it in the car or listen to it as a podcast because it is very visual. And so if you're more of a visual, maybe hands-on person, seeing, seeing Mike Myers' course might be uh, more beneficial to you. And then we'll move on to the second resource again. I still use Jason Dion's um, Udemy practice tests again, and those work like a charm. I do want to say I do have a specific way of using them, and then I, I want to make sure that you're not um, misguided by what I'm saying. And so 
the way that I was using these practice tests is I was take is I would take a practice test and then fully understand every question that I got right and wrong and then go through the entire practice test and then move on to the second one and then progressively there's six uh, practice tests so progressively with each one my score improved slowly and slowly the initial time and now I didn't want to take the practice tests um, over and over again because at that point you're just remembering the answers to the practice test and you're not remembering like the full concepts that you're supposed to be learning you're just remembering how to pass a practice test that Jason Dion created which isn't going to necessarily fully help you for the exam you want to learn the full concepts and understand why things are right and why things are wrong and in the practice test if you actually go through and read everything and all the answers as to why they got right and wrong um, you'll be able to um, do that on those a lot of the things that I see people doing are that they sometimes remember those, just remember the questions. And so they'll take the practice test one, two, three, four, five times, and then they can say, hey, I got a 95% on the practice test, but you didn't really because you're just remembering the questions, not remembering the concepts. So I want you guys to think about that when you're doing those practice tests to kind of try to remember the concepts and and understand the topics versus just remembering the uh, answers. Okay, so I have been referencing the Udemy courses, the Jason Dion practice test, Mike Myers, um, Professor Messer is free on YouTube, so you shouldn't need to worry about that. But for active duty, for reservists, for National Guardsmen, you ha if you have a military email, you have access to business Udemy license for free through a website called Digital University. Now, I didn't know this when I initially made, created my first video, and so this is new. Um, you can sign up to Digital University below. I will link it below as well. And you can have a free license given to you. Mine is given to me by the Army. So your perspective branch will give you the license. And now I have access to almost all of the major courses on Udemy for free. And I don't have to pay. So Jason Dion practice tests were free. Um, the Mike Myers video course was free. I'm now working on my network plus that is free. Then I'll be moving on to the security plus. So that will be free. And so I want to highlight that this resource is amazing and to actually take use of it. Um, I, I want to make sure that, uh, the vets out here, um, active duty reservists, you have to have a military email, so you'll be taken care of. And so I have a comment here on my last video by Michael and he's saying what kind of scores was I getting on the Jason Dion practice tests um, to leave me confident to take the real exam and now I will say I think the last practice exam I took was mid 80s and that was my initial time taking it and so I want you to know um, I was getting mid 80s in the practice test and then on my actual score for the exam I got a 735 which is, um, there's a cutoff of 700 for the minimum. So it's honestly not the best, but it's, um, it's a pretty good score. I was comfortable, I think. Um, at the end of taking the test, I kind of knew I passed. And so I wasn't too worried on granularly spending too much time on the test. I just submitted it. Knew I passed because I did the exact same thing as the first time. And my scores were four points different. Um, I'll show you guys here the score for the 1101. And then the score for the 1102, and they're very close. Um, I will say the main benefit is my glow up between that time difference there <laughs> is probably a, a good thing for me. Now, if you've gotten this far into the video, I appreciate that. I would like you to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I do respond to some of the ones that you ask um, and, and kind of try to give my perspective on things. If not, I'll put you in a video and answer your question then. I want to summarize again the two resources that I used were the Mike Myers video course and then the Jason Dion practice tests. And then again, make sure you're, you're getting um, 80, 85% um, on the first initial practice test on like practice six, the sixth one, to kind of know that you're ready. If you're not there yet, I will recommend to go take different practice tests. Don't use the same ones. I know Professor Messer has some. Um, there's free sites as well that you can uh, find practice tests on or maybe um, find like flashcards on Quizlet, things like that, just to kind of 
in, uh, learn a little bit more and, and get those concepts into your brain. And then as for me, I'm currently now studying for the Network Plus exam. And so I'm looking forward to putting out a video on that whenever I complete it. Hopefully that will be pretty soon and I'll be able to help you guys out that way. If not, then you can watch this video here and, and go back to my 1101 exam if you haven't completed that yet. See ya.